Yes, welcome to DC Economics. Today we are going to begin uh, looking on implicit function rule, on how we calculate on implicit function rule. This is among the rule of differentiation. So, implicit function rule and an implicit function rule, an equation like this, an equation that is y is equal to 4x raised power of 2 plus 2x plus 10 is directly expressed as is direct expressed can it be expressed as y can it be expressed as y in terms of x in terms of x now as this function is called the explicit function and this function Is what we call the implicit. Is what we call the implicit function. I mean, is what we call is what is known as an explicit function. So an equation y is equal to x raised to the power two plus two x plus ten is directly expressed in y in terms of x. Is is what is called the explicit function since we have the y is equal to but an equation that is expressed in this form so an equation that is x square y plus y plus 2x which is equal to 0 this is a question that is actually not expressed in terms of y in terms of y in terms of x now this type of function is what we call it the implicit function is what we called out the implicit function. Now, in order to find out, uh, in order to find out the derivative of an implicit function, in order to find out the derivative of the implicit function, every term in both sides of the function is to be differentiated with respect to x. So, both terms, in order you can find the derivative of an implicit function, every term is supposed to be now every term in both sides every term in both sides of the function is to be differentiated with x is to be differentiated is to be differentiated with respect to x with respect to x is to be differentiated with respect to x with respect to x. Now, for example, find the dy of dx of the following function. Let's find that, for example, dy over dx of the following function. That is given by taking 3x minus 2y, which is equal to 4. So derivative change we need to apply derivative on both sides. Uh, this is like to say it will be now d over dx. It will be d over dx, that is equal to 3x minus d over dx, that is equal to 2y, is equal to d over dx, that is equal to 4. That is, is equal to 4, bracket 4. Now, for this case now, since here, here we have the derivative change of dy in this respect of x, and we have the d in this respect of dx, now the answer when we apply the derivative change of uh, 3x, this will give us uh, this will give us here to is equal to 3, then minus 2, then dy over dx, which is equal to 0. When we equate up the derivative change of 4 is equal to 0. Now for that case, now let's take out negative 3 of the upper side. In order we can find the dy over dx, let you take 3 and put an and equate it to zero whereby we minus it. This would give out now uh, it would be negative two dy over dx is equal to zero minus three. Now divide by negative two both sides this would become positive. And here now the result will be now dy over dx will be equal to negative three over negative two. 
Now the answer here when we divide, we we'll give a dy over dx, which is equal to negative v over 2, which is equal to 1.5 when we put it into decimal place. So it becomes the answer. Another example, another example, let's find this. Now suppose you have got to find out dy over dx on this implicit function. That is xy is equal to 6. So the first step we apply derivative from this function as we advertised would be now it will be x dy d over dx, I mean dy over dx. Uh, then it will be y, it will be x d over dx. Uh, this would be equals to take out this will be equals to we take out x then d over dx then y then is equal to d over dx uh, is equal to d over dx 6 so for that case when we apply derivative here we obtain is equal to 1 the derivative of this function will be equal to 1 so it will remain with, will remain with d uh, y over dx is equal to derivative of 6 is equal to 0 so it remains with dy here it will remain with uh, dy dx y is equal to 0 now our intention is to find our d over dx so when we apply the equal to change here to remain is equal to 0 so our dy dx will be equal to uh, this will give out the value that is equal to we take out y on this side so it will be negative y over x So this will go and force when we minus it will mean is negative y as you see that will be y over x negative y over x so this will be minus it should become 0 minus y which is equal to negative y over x as you observe so that becomes the answer let's try another example suppose another example So suppose you are given you are given a function that is x square plus two x y plus y square is equal to ten. So you require to find out dy over dx in this kind of uh, what is known as implicit function. So we apply derivative. It will be now d over dx x square plus y over d over dx and then it's power of x uh, then to the b plus then 2x that is d over dx this is this one dx over dx that is this power of 1 and times y black is y then times this d over here it will be d over dx that is this power of 1 square then is equal to now d over dx then 10. So when we apply the derivative here, the answer will be equal to when you derivative it will be 2x, then plus it will be here, it will be minus 2y plus 2x. Uh, so we'll take out will be 1, that times 2x. Here it will be 1, 1 plus 2x, that will be. Then we'll take out, this will be equal to 2. That will be 2x, then dy, then uh, over dx. Then plus it will be here negative 2y, then it will be dy over dx, which is equal to 0. Now, for that case, it will be now dy over dx, it will be is negative 2x, then dy over dx, then take out plus 2y, dy over dx is equal to take out this value of 2x plus, take out our 2x plus 2y in this left hand side. So here, when we take out this in left hand side, then we minus. In order you can obtain dy dx, we we'll take out these values in here. So it will be 2x then dy over d, times 2y dy over dx is equal to, take out this figure in the left hand side, it will be minus negative 2x plus 2y. 
So as we, since we deal with these two values here, our dy and dy dyx, then we will take out this value here. That is 2x plus 2y into the left corner. Then it will be minus in this side here. So it will remain as 2x, 2x dy over dx plus 2y dy dx is equal to negative sin 2x plus 2y. Now after taking this value here, the question now remains it will be it will be now dy over dx and dy dy over dx it will be 2x plus 2y then bracket then dy over dx. Now since here we have 2x and 2 uh, 2y dx, so we have tried to put it together this value and dy over dx which will be equal to this value here that is equal to negative 2x plus 2y bracket. And in order to obtain with to remain with dy over dx, we divide both sides by 2x plus 2y, both sides, and here by 2x plus 2y, both sides. This and this will cancel. So what will remain with will be equals to, what will remain will be equals to dy over dx is equal to, will remain as dy over dx is equal to this figure here, 2x plus 2y over 2x plus 2y. So here, you remain with so remaining with uh, dy over dx is equal to 2x plus 2y over, this is negative, over 2x plus 2y. So this and this will cancel out to the minus negative 1. So our dy over dx will be equal to negative 1, something like that. So it will be equal to negative 1. Thank you for watching. Uh, welcome to EC Colmex. Don't forget to watch other videos for more illustration. Thank you.